really contain four guards. There are three guards. What what was working? Why so effective? Well, it was anybody's ball game until the manual hit three three. So let's not not say that we just dominated the guards because we really did. Um, first half we were playing pick and roll. Certainly, we kind of changed it up in the second half. That may have slowed them down. Today, every opportunity to win the game, including it was a five point game late. So they're good. They're playing good basketball right now. They got some bets, and it's um, a significant game. Cal, when you look back at the game the other day, were you more concerned, less concerned about some of the body language things, the arguments going on? What, Which, what are you talking our game against? Against Tennessee? Tennessee? Yeah. Uh, the heat, of, heat of the moment, you know, some of that stuff. They got to, this one, when you coach young kids, this is what pops out sometimes. And you won't believe this, I get emotional, so I don't mind when other people get emotional. <laughs> I get it. So that interaction with you and Ashton on the bench, it didn't seem like he wanted to go in. Well, I guess what is your Look, I've done thought? this. I've done this before. There are sometimes I'll go to a guy and ask him, do you want to go in? If he says no, I say, okay, we'll move on. I mean, some of it's late game stuff because I had to sit there when I played and there's 25 seconds left in a game and you go to the, okay, go in and get that guy. And then there's the clock's running down and no one does anything. And then they five seconds to go, you walk in the game and, and you walk in, he subs and that's, you know. So I'll do that. But no, we, uh, we've got a young team that's growing and learning and learn from every situation. There was a UK fan that said a racial slur during the game video going around. Obviously, the school has taken action, but seeing that video, what's your thoughts? I didn't see the video. Um, I would just tell you that that using a racial slur is unacceptable in any setting at any time. So I did not watch the video. Did you talk to your guys at all about that? I haven't. I have not. Is that a concern in terms of? marketing the program when something like that comes out that uh, I mean if it came from the program yes it would be but if it's no it's not I mean uh, it's, like I said it's unacceptable in any kind of setting and, I mean you could say some stuff me personally I don't think anybody's gonna think Cal has an issue how about Kerry Blackshear, uh, John? What, I don't remember his numbers, but he's been productive for Florida. What makes him? Uh, he's physical, he's smart, he ball fakes, he gets you in bad positions, he creates fouls, throws himself into you if you don't, if you're not ready to play. He physically will throw his body at you to catch balls. He's, he's good, he's, he's a terrific player. He's one of the best big men in our league. Okay, back in early in the summer, you said uh, that you told Tyrese's dad at some point this is going to be like here at Fox when I had to go to him and say this is. And we team. have, we have, and there's other. This is a game to game team more than any team I've coached. Like you could say Nick, and then you watched it and you said he couldn't throw it to Nick today. So what do you do now? Throw it to Nick anyway and lose that game. This is one of those kind of teams, and you know with uh, Tyrese. Um, he's, he's growing up right before our eyes. Um, he's making winning plays. Um, and there are times the ball is in his hands to go make plays. And there are other times it's in Emmanuel's hands. Like when we were at Texas A&M, I could have put it in Tyrese's hands. Some of you may have done that. But when I saw the kid making all those shots, you won't believe this, I said, maybe not his hands, maybe Emmanuel's hands. So this is one of those teams. EJ the same way, Nate the same way. Someone has it going, we gotta ride that guy. How much experience do you have coaching a team like that for game to game, uh, you know, adjusting? Or is that Just, more? It, it's, every team is different, you know. I, normally we don't, it's, you'll have an idea of who we're going at, but this team is different. Any concerns about the traveling, the coronavirus, and, and that? I've tried to call off all press meetings because I'm <laughs> you guys. I have no idea 
where your hands have been, what you, and I'm like, why would I do anything with media? You notice how far I'm away from you? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, there is concern. I mean, there is. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the news and trying to figure out everything and telling my team, hydrate, wash your hands, do everything you can, but there's a lot of stuff that'll be out of our control and other people will have to make decisions. I noticed the NBA put out the thing about you know, fist bump maybe, yeah. but don't do the high five. Yeah. That's in the morning when we shake it.